Welcome back to the podcast, everybody. We are we had to split this one into two because it's as big as my penis. Oh, yep, that's not what I signed up for. Hey, let's just say shout outs to Mr. Star Damo. He's gonna enjoy this because I want to send him this personally. He's gonna, <laughs> they're gonna show throw so much fire at me at this at, this, at the podcast. That whole chat, I'm gonna get flamed up. Anywho, let's move on to the WWE guys. Trash. Yo, who was who was hyped for that? Um, uh, the the the, hor- the horror able show. Uh, uh, Extreme Rules. Who was ready? Oh, the show that I didn't watch. What was one of the requirements, you jackass? <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, having having fun elsewhere. Um, you're still a jackass. <laughs> well, that's well, you're gonna have a fresh perspective on on these matches because I'm gonna be that blind eye. <sighs> <sighs> Mr. Darkwave, did you watch the damn pay per view? Or the highlights of it? Uh, I watched the pay-per-view. Garbage. <laughs> I can tell by your voices. It's garbage. What? WWE right now is garbage. I can tell by your voices the pay-per-view was garbage. The pay-per-view Not... was perfection. What are you talking about? See, you already were capping earlier with Ghost of Shishu. Shishu, Shishu, Shishu. Well, now you're capping with this. Okay, let's go over the matches. We got Kevin Owens versus Murphy, which was, you know, pointless. Okay, I'm assuming... Let me guess. Kevin Owens. Yes, you're right. Yeah, yay. Uh, Cesaro and Shisuke Nakamura versus The New Day. The New Day lost. Uh, Thank God they lost, because I was getting sick and fucking tired of them being champions. They stopped putting... I'm going to leave that alone. The Bailey match was was bad. It wasn't Gabbage. good. It, it wasn't good. But Bailey won because they cheated. Of course. Of course. Of course. Now the eye for an eye match was one of the dumbest matches I've ever seen in my life. It sounded dumb to me. Look. When he said I wanted to be an eye for an eye match and I was like Ray, you are aware that that is a shitty stipulation for a match. Yeah, how how how? <laughs> Were you gonna stab him in the eye and, and, and on camera? Technically, that's kind of what they did. But um, so mm. the eye was supposed to they're supposed to poke your opponent's eye out, and mm-hmm. technically Seth Rollins poked out the eye that was already poked out. Even though what? He didn't really. It was funny how they did the same step spot that Seth did to him at first, and that took his eye out, which should have just like cave his eye in. Thank you. But yes, he didn't take the other eye out. He took the same eye out. Therefore, he cheated. No, it, it, I I don't know. Well, like I said, when Ray lost the match, I was just like Ray. Why are you letting them do this to you? You picked the stipulation to this match. Why didn't you just pick a match that would, I don't know, not require... I don't, I don't know, man. First Seth, you must wrestle right. with your hands behind your back. Yeah! Yes! yeah thank you. <gasps> thank you. Now, yeah, Oscar versus yeah. Sasha Banks ended with a no contest because the referee got missed in his eyes and Bailey took the shirt of the ref and counted three counts and it it's finally saying no contest but at first it was saying Sasha Banks won and I was like get the fuck out of here now uh, the best part about that whole oh, I gotta go back to that Rollins match the whole best thing about that Rollins match was Rey Mysterio at the end no no yeah when he was doing that I was looking at I was genuinely looking at my phone like what are you doing right now? He sounded like Mario sorry. in like sixty four. Dog. Oh, and then he said, "I'm sorry." I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah, dog. He was just like, "Oh no, don't do this." I was like, "What the fuck?" Wait, hey, man, man, 
No. <laughs> Ray, <laughs> Ray, don't do that. And then he, he got his eyes open. I'm sorry. Yeah. That was like, the uh, fuck? And then, so and then that's right. Again, yeah, that should have took his eye out. That should have pushed his eye in. Yeah, like, yeah, should have pushed his no, eye. Out. It and it wasn't it. even the that right was... eye. It was the left. What the fuck did they do? Did they think about that for a well, I mean, it just had to take his eye out. It didn't have to be. It could have been a hurt eye. It didn't really matter. It just had to be taken out. But the the, the whole thing, my whole big issue, is that that doesn't take someone's eye. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it maybe can. But the, the way he did it, it doesn't. Eye in. It doesn't push the yeah. eye out at all. It just now if he now if he had did that, which I thought he was going to do, I thought he was going to do that, and then curve stop the living fuck out of him. Then I can see that maybe you know taking an eye out because you're like stomping someone's head maybe to a step and hard impact, but they didn't do that. So I was just like, well, that's useless then. Yeah. <laughs> Next <No>! match. <laughs> Moving on to the Os. Yeah, the, the, I already talked about that match. That match was dumb. Uh, garbage. The Drew McIntyre L. The stipulations. <laughs> For Dolph Ziggler versus Drew McIntyre was so fucking dumb. Was it not a 1v1? Just a regular? It was a 1v1. But uh-huh, uh-huh. the extreme rules stipulation was only applied to Dolph Ziggler. McIntyre had to wrestle under normal wrestler, uh, wrestling matches. Furthermore, had McIntyre gotten disqualified or counting out, Ziggler would have won the championship. So essentially, Dolph Ziggler lost a match that all he had to do was smack Drew McIntyre with a chair outside the ring and got him counted out and would have won the championship belt. Or oh, man, he tried. Or 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 just find a way to get him to hit him with the chair. Handcuffed him to the outside of the ring. Anything. It but, just tells you just how much Dolph Ziggler, Mr. Ziggles, is a loser. And then next thing you know, this motherfucker's like, I want a rematch. I saw your face as you was about to lose. I was like, no, he wasn't about to lose. You were all of a minor inconvenience. And why do you, does Dolph Ziggler get a second match anyway? I was like, whatever. 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 I don't care. It's because who? Who are you going to are you gonna put him in the future? Drew, Drew, right. Drew McIntyre can sit out for a couple of days. He can. He can. He doesn't have to be on every fucking episode. He can sit out. Well, NXT he does this constantly. People can sit out and relax for a minute. If you don't have a storyline for them immediately, just let them sit there. It's okay. Shit. It'd be like that. It'd be like that sometimes. Not too long though. Jesus though. Not too long, yes. But also not like like build up what you need to do is just build up other people to make it so your champion has somebody to fight. Literally you could just have like Nobody like he could. Uh, never mind. This is WWE. It should have been, been me. I really hated when he said that. I really. Dominic said that. No. No. Uh, no. Dolph. No. Oh. No. Oh. 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 The Rey Mysterio thing. Okay. Yeah. We're not Rey Mysterio. Yeah, but like, regardless, like that shit, like he does not need another. Whatever, bro. Then there was Bray Wyatt versus Braun Strowman. Now, that swamp fight was pretty fucking dumb. But the part that actually has me tickling my head and and confusion or trying to wrap my brain around, mm-hmm. it ended in a double countout. Isn't this in the swamp? Yes. How does it end in a double count out? Mm. It's almost as bad as a Hell in a Cell match ending in a DQ. Let's not bring up Hell in a Cell match. Please stop bringing that shit up. Come on, ring the bell. (laughs) Ding, ding, ding. What the fuck? (laughs) Twice. They did that twice now. How do you end Hell in a Cell in a disqualification, son? There's no DQ. That's even a part of the WWE wrestling games. You can't end that in a DQ. Oh my god. <laughs> Why do they keep being stupid? 
Uh, anywho, moving on. Mm. Did anything happen with SmackDown? Some interesting things looking at Twitter. Um, starting with um, what looks like a, a Nikki Cross and, and Alexa breakup. Finally! Well, they're fighting for a title shot, basically. Oh. I think they were fighting for a title shot. It's a little miss at the greatest of all time. Dude. We have Lacey Evans flip flopping like the big show. Uh, Sorry. Wait, should turn back for your face? Shut the fuck up! Did I, did I just. I did say Alexa Bliss. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fucking Alexa. Anyway, we have Lacey Evans flip flopping like the big show. She's now, I guess, heel again. I guess she Naomi. Attack? Naomi, pushed last her. Week. Naomi pushed her. Uh, they are Miss TV. Or whatever. Um, what else do we have? Otis has not been here again. Where's Otis been? He's well. He has the the contract, so you know they're trying to figure out who he should cash in on to not make themselves look stupid. He's probably not going to cash it out on anybody. He's gonna cash it out on somebody. He he's going to. No, the, I, he's, he's gonna lose. He's gonna lose the briefcase. Cashes it out on the twenty four seven champion. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> anyway, um, um, um. We so have Matt Riddle Bart- is in a feud with Baron Fucking Corbin. Yes, Yay! Matt Riddle. Matt, Matt Riddle and Corbin. We have a Sheamus versus uh, Jeff in a bar. In a bar Corbin. fight. When? Yeah. But wasn't that to SmackDown? I don't. I don't know. Yeah, tonight. I'm looking at Almost the. Tonight. I'm looking at the highlights on YouTube. I don't see the fight. And it's probably not posted. Well, I'm yet. not sure if it was a fight or a segment. But then we have Big E getting a solo push. Okay. Kingston is injured, so I, okay, okay. A lot of people have been asking for it, so yeah. Let's see if he can deliver. I have for him. I hope he doesn't mess up. I mean, up. he was good in NXT. He... I I have high hopes he for him. Okay I hope he doesn't mess up. Champion, so. Shorty G is still working with the company. Wait, um, um, why did I call him? Why did I call him Shorty G? God, mm-hmm. I forgot about that guy. Mm-hmm. They're probably you know, he's getting the Mustafa treatment, trying to figure out where to put him. But Mustafa's back now. Mustafa is back because they, they finally figured out where to put him. Apparently, Bobby Riot Riot the fuck the happened fiend? to Chad Gable, son? And Grand Metelli is going against uh, AJ Styles? Why? Oh, wait. Oh, is it Lince Dorado? I forgot. what. I don't know which one it is. Um, we got more disrespect to Jeff Hardy. Starting out SmackDown saying... Hello, my name is Jeff Hardy, and I am an alcoholic to begin SmackDown. Can we stop with that stupid fucking shit? Bray Wyatt wars that he has been unleashed. And that's about... Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's pretty much SmackDown. Did the bar fight happen on this episode of SmackDown? If, if yeah. Yeah. I don't see it on YouTube. Go on Twitter. Seamus put uh, his head in a toilet. Or a urinal, excuse me. That is still a toilet. Still a toilet. I mean, well, I want to be specific. He put his head in a urinal, which is disgusting. I don't know why Jeff Hardy would uh, agree with that. Uh, Let that happen. Jeff Hardy. Uh, would you allow your head to be put in the toilet? No. See, I am a self-respecting human being. See. Uh, apparently Jeff we won the f- how, do you, how do you win the bar fight though it's whatever and next week there's going to be Naomi versus Lacey who cares um 
it's just news. <laughs> uh, somebody just oh, Kyrie Singh just no, not Kyrie Singh. Did Kyrie? No, Kyrie Singh got another title shot, or she gets a title shot. Someone else got a title shot. I'm trying to find this bar fight real quick. Oh, okay. Is it a match or is it just a bar fight? I don't know. I can't tell. Ah, uh, one of the um, the who, it was one? a match. Oh, okay. It was a match. Okay, uh, the the member of Lucha House, I can't remember who this one is, but the guy from Lucha House Party just won an IC title ch uh, shot. I know. They had weak ass rock music on this bar fight too. Yep. So I don't. It was interesting to to say. Anything. Oh my God! He became Brother Nero in the midst of the fight. And Jeff Hardy won. A new Nintendo trademark must have. Oh. Moving on. So, damn, what were we legit talk about? Here? Keith Lee. Keith yes. Lee relinquished his uh, one of the titles he legit had. How do you guys feel about that? He relinquished it. Okay. What reason? Which one? The America, North American North Championship. America. So there has a, a bunch of triple threat matches to crown the next winner uh, okay. for the belt. And I'm like, I'm fine with this. Oh, look at that. A good story. Oh. By the way, that match with Dominic Dojovic was uh, fire, as always. Hmm. I'm fire, as always. No. Hmm. Uh, and then the final thing, uh, it would have been more hilarious if... if a certain someone was here, but she is knocked out. Um, let's talk about that Charlotte being gone for another leaky titty. <laughs> for elective surgery. Yeah, she got smacked in the titty and it was leaking. Again. And, and she got sick because it was leaking. Again. Oh. I think that woman needs to get rid of those, those breasts. Get rid of the leaky titties. No, get rid of the breast implants because that doesn't make any sense with where she is. Yeah, I mean, like, as, at this, at this, at this point in time, and you know, with all the women revolution, you shouldn't need implants. But at the same time, you know, twenty twenty girl, you do what you do, bro. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's all I got to say about that one. <laughs> that would have been more funny. I bet you when she comes back, uh, she's going to. Um, I bet you when she comes back, she's going to um, automatically be on the title title uh, contention. Recruit Becky Lynch. What? Yeah, she's automatically going to come back. By the way, Becky Lynch. I swear to God, if she ever came back, it was like I automatically am in the title spot. I'm going to be like. No. <laughs> I swear she's going to come back to a very loud ass pop. She will come back to a loud pop, yes. And that's going to be fun. What would you say, Douglas? If there's fans. Nah, yeah, you're right. There, If there are no fans, you're just going to see people banging on plexiglass. Hey, what's with people throwing people in the plexiglass and they act like it hurts? It's not even real. Oh, oh, oh my god. I'm like, yo, Let's... yo, it's plastic. That that doesn't hurt. Get up. <laughs> I think well, I think what's really happening is they're just shook that they got thrown. That's what's really happening. Yeah, okay. Uh and the final thing I want to talk about how AEW did just beat uh uh WWE again in ratings. How does that guy how you guys feel about that? Are you surprised? No. No. Oh, okay then. So that was that. Yeah, that shit. That shit <laughs> legit surprised me when I was like, oh, AEW wins again. I wonder how many times AEW is going to do that. Uh, uh, oh. Look, they have a solid product over there, man. Yes, they do. Okay, does anybody else have anything else they want to share before we cut this joint nope. off? 
Because the wrestling part legit was short as hell. I, I should not have cut this in half. But I cut it in half so I can only send specific parts in the specific things. I just want to say WWE has legit lately been trash. It's been bad. Garbage. It's been bad. I, I want I want Damo to hear this. It's been bad. It's terrible. Garbage. It's garbage. AEW is better. There have been no five star matches on the rain roster for years. No oh, man. No oh, man. We're gonna get Alistair Black versus versus uh, 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 Drew McIntyre. And it's gonna be great. That match is not gonna, gonna be, be great. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Alright. And if there is nothing else you guys need, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the podcast. Of course I'm gonna play the theme. It would be playing right here. And if there's nothing else you guys want to say, I think we can wrap this podcast up with a nice hearty kiss on the mouth, you know. Mm, none of that. Hey! You will kiss me on the mouth. Mm, none of that, no. All right. No. Yo, I just have one question for you. I'm mm. going to post the game chat, the game part in that group me chat. How much of an argument do you think that joint's going to start? A big argument. On so, which one? On which topic? Oh no no, our uh, the Xbox one on our. We have some Xbox fans in our uh, yeah. group chat there. Yeah. I so, mean, it's very, very, very biased Xbox fans. That <laughs> that really tried to say that uh, this conference was comparable to the Sony one. Because while the Sony didn't, didn't tell me shit, so while Sony didn't tell you shit, they at least showed you something. Microsoft said, "Huh, we're not going to tell you shit for an hour, and then for 15 minutes of that said hour, we're going to show you Halo gameplay that was running off of a PC, and it doesn't look as good as what we showed you the first time." <laughs> oh, and Tetris. <laughs> Oh, uh, for, how could I forget? I know you guys love Tetris. Oh, yeah, man. Who doesn't love Tetris? Not really. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I love Tetris. I just don't like the fact that you should be announcing fucking Tetris. But, you know, it's whatever. Or, or, or how about we're going to announce a game that's our Saturday Bob times in a single cup? Multiple games that were already out. Or let's announce Dragon Quest again for the 90th fucking time. Yeah. Or, or, or let's announce an. Xbox One game that's coming out next week instead of focusing on next gen. Cool, cool, cool. cool. What Xbox yeah. games coming out next week? One of those indie ones. Oh. oh. It's actually, they literally said, oh, it comes out next week. It was literally one of the only ones with an actual date. Literally was like next week, and it was an Xbox One game. So. And then you, you saw the cap that they tried to spew at the end. All of these games will be there at launch on Game Pass. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I'm in Game Pass. Okay. Makes sense. Half of those games are coming out in 2021. <laughs> I'm just super saying. Hey, get out of here. Get out, get out of here. You said I'm just super saying. Yeah, I'm you just did. super saying. You did. Oh. Get out of here. You're, you're done. You're done. Oh. We're done here. Cut it out. Oh. Cut the podcast. Dang, I'm fired. It's crazy. Nah, bro. Anywho, all right. I will catch you guys in the next podcast, probably next Friday. Oh God, we're still on the podcast. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> all right. <laughs>